Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tech with Obed. So I remember I was showing you guys this small cell node right here. Well, this neighborhood cell right here. It looks like it is indeed finally turned on. And I'm finally getting Verizon. Uh, what is it? Millimeter wave. So I was doing some speed tests and I can indeed confirm that yes, everybody was telling me yes, it is for Verizon. This is the only one that I've seen um, in the neighborhood so far. So <clears throat> this is what I am getting. Um, it's uh, AT and T. Like I said, I think the last time I was telling you guys that they did have a um, uh, a neighborhood, well, a, a cell tower, probably like down the street. Um, but the uploads were not too great. But yet again, guys, I can confirm that yes, it is uh, for Verizon. Uh, which you know, I think we all pretty much knew. I just wasn't sure why it was, it probably wasn't turned on yet, but now I can confirm that it is. Uh, but once I go inside the house, like, um, yeah, it drops down to like 300. So of course it's a millimeter away, so it doesn't reach far. They probably will have to put up another one uh, down the street, but on LTE, this is what I was getting before. There was no 5G in this neighborhood. It was just straight up LTE. But I can show you what I was getting. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm getting. Yeah, so this is what I was getting before. Uh, just not great. I mean, it's not, well, not as bad, but it could be better. It was still usable. It was still fine. Um, but I think Verizon just wanted to lift up the congestion in the, in the neighborhood just so everybody could be moved over to 5G at least. Um, so this is probably just a short-term solution until they can put up like an, a, a tower nearby and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Because it was just... Sometimes it would get pretty slow. So and there's a lot of houses in the neighborhood. You guys can obviously see. Like, yeah, there's a lot of houses around here. It is no joke. So this is probably the short term fix. There is Fios in this neighborhood. So of course Verizon can advertise the home internet. So this is also a, a business opportunity for them too. But like I said, guys, short term fix, short term solution. Um, there's nothing much I need to say here on AT&T. Uh, let me show you guys. This is like this is what I was. Let me see. This is what I'm getting. Sorry that the camera's so close. Yeah, this is what I'm getting on AT and T. I know you just had an outage yesterday. Um, some people have been calling in to get some credits and whatnot. So we'll see how that works out. I might do the same. I mean, not, I already have a credit on my account, so not that I dearly need one, but um, listen, uh, you know, I might just do the same just to see. Uh, hold on, sorry, guys. But yeah, I'm getting a, uh, like at least 500 on average here, or at least right around that. Like I said, the upload for AT&T is not so great. It's never been great. Before it was like two megabits. Um, kind of like what Sprint was getting around here uh, before. But even Sprint, um, before they, you know, merged with T-Mobile, uh, they, you know, they even had uh, a better standing here in the area at least than uh, AT&T. I don't know what's up with their upload. It's just, I, I don't think they really care as much about it. But yeah, like I said, guys, um, if you guys haven't subscribed, though, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on your bell notification, you get notified. Uh, I do apologize, guys, a little bit under the weather, so uh, there will be upload uh, soon in terms of, like, new content. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment, uh, subscribe.
Turn your bell notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.